Emily, if you don't know her well, she loves to read. And when she was little, she would, you know, we had bedtime where she would go into her room and lights had to be out and you had to stay in your room, but she figured out a way around it. So she would lay on the precipice of the hall in her room and the light would shine on her book and she'd continue to read. Emily, through the years, has taught us a lot. Um, one of the things that she showed us is being cool is not as important to Emily as following the rules. <laughs> She's also cool, okay? <laughs> but in high school, um, one of my sons had a driver's license and had access to a car and would drive to school. And Emily had the option of riding in the car to school with that son of ours and chose not to. She would rather ride on the school bus and get to school on time so that when the alarm went off, she was in her seat ready to go. She's always made good choices. So it was no surprise to us when she introduced us to Chris. What a good choice. And at first, when we, we heard about Chris, we, you know, we heard some of the stories of where they would hang out together. And, and the only concern I really had was when I found out he was a PhD, I thought, well, he's going to be bored at our family gathering. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just thrilled, delighted at these two being together. These are my words of encouragement to the two of you. When life gets tough, hold hands. When you experience success, give thanks. And in your lives, seek a great spiritual purpose. I, Chris, take you, Emily, to be my wife, and I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. take you, Chris, to be my husband, and I promise, for God and these witnesses, to be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. By the authority entrusted to me, and by your promises, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And you may kiss. It is now my great pleasure to introduce to you Dr. and Mrs. Chris and Emily Sear. I 
love Emily from the bottom of my heart. I know we're going to be friends forever. When she met Chris, I was like, this is perfect, because Chris is just as crazy and fun as she is. I love things about Emily that Chris just tends to bring out even more, makes her even more happy and even more fun than she already is, and I just love that about them. May you have a long, happy life together. May I be a part of it always or else. Chris has this spark of raw, genuine enthusiasm that, that I truly admire, and it goes into everything he does. So I'd like to raise a glass to the enthusiasm of everybody here for the marriage of Chris and Emily. And so I offer this toast, if you would join me, to Emily and Chris, May your marriage, in all its ups and downs, be filled with love, happiness, and the favor of God in all that you touch. Cheers. Because you are the best thing. You are the best thing. You are the best thing. Ever. that you believe me when I say this love will never fade away oh because you are the best thing you are the best thing you are the best thing ever Like the spring to walk on out the door. Our hearts are strong and our, our hearts are kind. Let me tell you just exactly what is on my mind. You are the best thing. You are the best thing. You are. Bye.